I am Dusty Parsons and I handle marketing and media for Habitat for Humanity Central Arizona. And uh, Jared's visiting today. Um, he's stopped by a couple times to take a look at the progress on the first 3D printed home in Arizona. Here you can see the scalloped wall. The house has been painted inside and out. And um, the architect who helped us put this together, he really wanted to show off some of the design features of the 3D printer. So he incorporated a lot of curves. And um, this is actually uh, makes it a little stronger when you give it this sort of shell-like. Look, let's go inside. We are still in progress. We're in the last stages of um, bringing in the appliances. We're putting the finishing touches. You'll see a lot of cabinets going in, a lot of cleanup. Um, we're hoping to have a celebration this Friday, which is irrelevant to this timeless video. <laughs> Come on in. Here you can see the barn doors that we put in on a small den. This would be like a uh, home office. We have power to some of it, but not to the whole, uh, not to the whole house yet. But here you can see the den. All the fixtures have gone in. We just need to um, get it cleaned up. You can see the power, where the power and the cable's running. I noticed there's a lot of these vertical slats around the whole building. Uh, it's not covering the expansion joint, I guess the outlet's there, is that the...? Mm. There's a small channel there, what we call a chase, and all the power drops down through the roof. Um, so you'll see right here. Sometimes the power's in, um, straight in the wall, but mostly you'll find these chases that were printed as part of the design. It's a nice way to break up the constant uh, layer lines as well a little bit. Yep. Same over here. You're going to hear a lot of tools and cabinet making going on. We'll see how the audio compares today to Friday. <laughs> here they're um, putting in the hall closet. This is all custom cabinet work being done. What's above your left hand? Uh, this is the doorbell. Wow, big doorbell. <laughs> Check it out right here. Washer dryer here. Just installed these same custom shelves. Just installed. Floating shelves um, connected to the back wall, not the printed wall, right? Correct. That's correct. And just all these little added touches like um, mag magnets instead of the, the ball that we all have in our house. Lever door knobs instead of pull knobs. This is what makes the home really unique and special for the family. Here you can see we've got the family's uh, big screen was installed yesterday by Cox, who's a sponsor of this home, and they donated the whole uh, sort of smart home package. So the coffee maker, the Roomba, the TV, the internet, Wow, the coffee system. maker is on the smart home setup? Everything. That's awesome. So you can see all that. Roomba 2. Roomba 2. I guess it's better. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually measurably better. And then the hey, custom cabinet work being done up top here. That's our guy Todd. Wait, Todd. Hey, Dusty. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. We're trying to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. It has a heavy duty mount. It has like a volume or something. But it says temperature. Yeah. The clock. Is it for the pressure cooker? No. Sure. It's smart something. It's smart something. It's it, smart, smart something. It most definitely is. I, I it's smarter than me. Like if, it, if it's for the pressure cooker, would it be instant? <coughs> I don't have power in this room just yet, but this is the master bedroom and master bath. If you want to peek in, you can see everything's been tiled. How long ago did Habitat have the first discussion, we should 3D print a house? <laughs> this came about, it was a discussion in late 2019, and uh, we uh, 
got busy uh, making plans and making drawings and talking to the city of Tempe in very early 2020. So it's been uh, quite a journey, but uh, we've learned a lot and we know that um, when the time comes we're going to be able to print uh, more affordably, we're going to be able to print more sustainably, and we're going to be able to print um, faster. Well, what we know about um, our traditional stick and brick model is that it's getting more and more expensive every year. So our hope is that an additive model home can get less expensive year after year. And we think with the breakthrough in technology and with um, more commercial developers adopting the technology, we can scale it and uh, do it more economically. Yes. Have you noticed the like material costs for, for concrete getting cheaper? No. No. <laughs> Not yet. Other teams told me that uh, in Europe the material is getting cheaper, but I don't know. We, I was hoping maybe that would be the case here, but I guess not. You know, we'll do a balance sheet between the two homes when we're all done, and I'm sure this com this home will come in more expensive today. Um, but this home really isn't about today; it's about what we can do next. Also, it wasn't about building as cheap as possible as we we're talking about. There's so many premium features in this home. Uh, it's much higher quality than. I mean, I'm just assuming this, but the three next door, right? Yeah. Yes, much higher. Everything in here was custom and designer um, and donated by super, super generous partners. So in a very real sense, um, we've been able to use the uh, 3D printed home to draw attention, not only to the new technology, but for the need for affordable housing. So in a very real sense, the medium is the message. And we're super grateful for people like Jared and all the uh, coverage we've received because we want to make people aware that housing costs are getting out of control and people have to have a place to live. This is where you can see all the, uh, all the trades baked into the house. So this is where all the water and electricity is coming in. What you can't see is the solar that was donated on top. So Suntria, another one of our partners, donated all the solar up top. And uh, this will be a very uh, energy efficient home. We're going to go for LEED Platinum certification on this one. The panels aren't turned on yet? S some of the breakers are on. Generating 26 kilowatt hours, 80 kilowatt hours? I don't know, it's a really cloudy day, so that I don't expect know. it to be generating too much right now. What's the rain dial? Mm, that'll be. Uh, his drip system for trees and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Irrigation. Irrigation. We really want to thank all the partners who made this 3D home possible, and we want to thank Jared and the other people who came out to cover this event. Um, if you'd like to get involved with Habitat, we'd love to have you jump in with us. You can find us online at habitatcaz.org slash 3D, where you can learn more about this process and how it all came together. You can also sign up to volunteer with us or make a donation. That would be great, and we would love to have you on board. Habitatcaz.org.